BBC London has discovered that land equivalent to the size of Green Park and St James's Park combined has been taken out of public use in the last two years. The land, including playgrounds, sports fields and allotments, has been sold by 20 London boroughs to raise tens of millions of pounds. But often long-standing rules to protect it have been overruled. And for some, the loss of public open space is causing alarm. Our special correspondent, Kurt Barling, reports. London's open spaces have always been under pressure. Londoners have a long tradition of fighting to preserve them. When you put more children into a school, you're going to get more people driving. In Wimbledon, a plan to build on part of a recreation ground has met determined opposition because locals say it contravenes planning policy. I cannot understand how it can be breached with a decision of this sort, um, and nor do I think um, there are exceptional circumstances yet proved, um, and I don't think they exist, that this is the only alternative. Merton councils say an obligation to meet rising school numbers means tough choices have to be made, including sometimes changes to open spaces. We've got a 50-year-old pavilion where the loos don't work, uh, where the fabric is falling down. We're going to provide a community hall and we're going to provide decent classrooms for 200 local children um, and it's cheaper than building a new school. As a result of this expansion there'll be less buildings on this park than there are now. That's less square meters of building. Elsewhere school fields, playgrounds, even the old football stadium at Hendon have been completely disposed of. 116 acres in total. What you have discovered is quite alarming actually because the last two years have been in a period of recession. We in our own work have seen developers who after all are the people who buy these pieces of land are very much quieter in their activity at the moment. What these figures show us is that in just over two years 69 plots of public land have been sold off by 20 London boroughs raising a total of 70 million pounds and the amount loss to public use is more than Green Park and St James's Park combined. Dundonald Wreck is protected by an 1893 covenant but authorities often seek to amend or even ignore such documents. Local residents dispute the argument that no less public space will be available and question whether the plan is in the public interest. When they're talking about building an open space in their core planning strategy, they're saying they don't do it. It's against their core planning strategy. And then they come up with plans where they're building an open space. We don't trust them. Of course we don't trust them. Without firmer rules, campaigners say open space is increasingly vulnerable and won't come back once it's gone. Kurt Barling, BBC London News. Still to come tonight.